Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's another beautiful and wonderful day and a good day to be encouraged in the Lord. Let's read 1 Peter 5 and verse 8, <clears throat> where he says, Be sober and watchful, because your adversary, the devil, walks around as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Resist him firmly in the face, in the face, in the faith. Resist him in the face and resist him in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are experienced by your brotherhood throughout the world. You know, he says, be watchful, be alert, and be attentive, because you have an adversary and he's looking for someone to devour. I'm wearing this shirt today. I don't know if you can see that. Look there. And it's backwards, so you can't read it, but it says, freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. And that's, uh, it sounds kind of pessimistic, but what it really means is your dad doesn't resist the devil for you. You need to stand. And in the natural side, you need to stand because the devil wants to work through natural people and cause you to be in bondage. And he wants to work through spiritual principles and cause you to be in bondage. And what sparked my thinking about this, uh, it was last night actually, I was hearing someone talk about Different times God has moved on people to bring principles back into the earth. And one of them was of holiness. And they talked about a time, I think this was the Victorian era, where moral depravity was around. And how they would give their kids alcohol just to get them to shut up. You know, they'd basically get their, their little kids drunk so that they could set them aside. And it probably wasn't to everybody, but... But there was just a, a general decline in how the enemy, the devil, has tried to move in societies to get them to decline. There's a scripture in Proverbs that says, A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, so shall your poverty come on you like a, like an, like a robber in your want, like an armed man. And that's talking about natural provision, you know, and being lazy. But the spiritual principle is that we need to be vigilant. You don't sit back. You don't just rest. You rest in God, but you don't just rest in the flesh and let things roll along the way they may. Because we live on an earth, and gravity is trying to pull us down. We don't want to go down. We want to continue to rise up and press on. So I'm encouraging you and encouraging myself today and encouraging us as a as a society, always press on. If you haven't drawn closer to the Lord today, if you don't press on today, you can count it as having backslid for the day. Press on every day. Consider every day an opportunity to know more of God and an opportunity to walk more in His ways, to be just like the loving Father. Amen. Be blessed.